Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangerosi and that's a video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. This time I like to talk again about Krakatoa and we'll see the partition feature and uh, it's a really useful and powerful feature in Krakatoa that gives us the possibility to have a lot of particles without the need to have the particles inside the particle system. <coughs> yeah, sorry. I mean, uh, it's uh, uh, interesting to know that uh, if we need more particles, we have not just one way to have it inside the rendering. And I mean, uh, uh, that's a basic setup I just prepared. You see that we have these particles coming out from these objects. I used particle flow. And uh, we can set Krakatoa as rendering engine. So let's go there and we have just Krakatoa. Let's go inside the uh, uh, Krakatoa user interface and we can set up a rendering and let's see a frame and that's what we have actually. Uh, let's go to change the resolution to 900 and 400 and there we can set the show save frame and we can go near and again let's render and you see that we have not so much particles let's see uh, what we can do there and I set something as the color override and I go to a low value for the I'm oh, sorry okay we are back and uh, let's go for a lower more low density let's try with 0. Dot 15 and I like to have more particles let's go there side particle flow and you see that we have not so much particles let's try with 200,000 and let's render Okay, you see that we are starting to see uh, the particles in a better way. Uh, let's choose this sphere to have a mat. Okay, and back in Krakatoa, I set the mat there and enable and render again. And that's what we have actually. And then we can go there and say that we have maybe blue particles okay and where we have the shadows we'll have a dark blue okay so you see that there we have the blue okay you see that we have still uh, not so much particles and we need a lot more particles to have a better look let's see from another point of view too but you see that we need more and more particles so uh, if we play inside the PF stores we can say that we like to see the 5% in viewport and we have something like 2 million particles let's see what happens it will take a little bit to update the particle system And that's what uh, what we are obtaining. Let's go back in Krakatoa. And there we have the white. Let's go for a darker color. Okay. You see that we are starting to have uh, some better density, but let's say there. <coughs> sorry. If we like to see there, for example, with a, a really good quality, it will take time because it must uh, calculate a lot of particles and particle flow can become really, really slow because we are talking about million particles. So we uh, need a, a way to have a lot of particles without the need to have it inside the scene. 
And Krakatoa has the possibility to simulate uh, this kind of problem and to solve it. So let's wait before to see the frame there and then we'll see how to solve the problem. Okay, so that's the result. You see that we have a really uh, big amount of particles and that's really good because we can use also, for example, uh, the motion blur in this case to obtain uh, a really good result. Let's make a test. So we can use, for example, five sampling for the motion blur and we can have this one. Obviously, if you have more motion blur, you can obtain a better quality and also more speed. So uh, what I like to do is to have, let's see, for example, just a look with a lower amount of particles because I like it. Okay, uh, what we like to do is to imagine that, for example, in this case, you need more particles to have a better quality, but we can't use so much particles. Actually, we have two million particles, and we can think to have millions and millions of particles to obtain this, uh, this result. But there is another way, and that's the partition. The partition works in a really simple way, and that's uh, using the seed you see that there we have the seed that gives uh, a different position to the particles. So statistically it's impossible to have same particle system with the same position if uh, uh, we have not the same seed, but the seed is a really big number, so uh, we have a lot of possibility to create different par uh, particle system just using the same setup and just a different position for every single particles using the seed. So the partition from Krakatoa create copy, uh, copies of the same particle system just using a different seed position. So we'll have a lot of copy and a lot of particles. And uh, uh, that's really simple. We have to do just, for example, 200,000 uh, particles, so the 10% than before. Then we have to go there and we have to say that we'll not render the scene but we'll save the particles. Then you see that we have the possibility to say where to save the particles. Let's say for example there and let's call it partitions. CGC for CG cookie and save. So then we have to go there inside partition. It is trying to connect to the deadline uh, render manager, but actually I have no deadline. You can download deadline and use it for free for two nodes. Uh, so you can split the rendering and, uh, and the calculation of the partition on the on different machine. So you see that there we have uh, the amount of copy we like to create and we have there 10. And if we say 10, we'll have 10 times particles. So again, uh, 2 million particles, because actually we are using 200,000 particles. There we have the possibility to say which partitions, uh, so how many copies we like to create. Actually you see that we have from 1 to 1, so just one copy. Uh, we like to have all the copy. Uh, obviously you can say to use less to have the possibility to check how it is going and then render all the others. And then we have to say to render the sequence so from 0 to 100 because partition uh, needs minimum two frames and that's due to uh, an internal problem in 3ds max to evaluate the seed for the particles okay uh, then there we have the um, possibility to choose uh, how and where the partition from Krakatoa can uh, increment the seeds uh, so you see that are all the objects, actually we are using the particle flow, but you see that you have the possibility to assign it to different particle flow staffs, but also to uh, effects, the other particles, thinking particles, something from the box tree for thinking particles, and also to the uh, PRT for film effects, the volume, and the PRT loader, and the geometry. So actually uh, we are using a, a uh, just on particle flow and we can leave for the uh, default value. Uh, then what we have to do is just to say 
to generate the partition obviously you have the possibility to generate the partition range there or you can say to rend uh, to generate all the partition in this case it's the same because we are using uh, uh, the range that is uh, uh, as the complete range obviously if you have that line you have the possibility to render also on the on the network so let's say generate all partition locally and it is preparing you see all the copies of the particles so now I leave uh, the calculation and I stop the recording and we'll see later how to use it okay so you see it is near to finish the partition calculation and it's made in eight minutes but now we have all the two million particles cached so when it's ready okay now we have the particles and we have to do uh, a really simple thing first of all we have to go back to render then we have we can set to off this one and we can go in the uh, Krakatoa PRT loader and you see that it's asking for the partition file and we go to select one of the files, it's not important which one, you see that we have the, the name and then which partition or how much partition and the frame number. We can use this one, open. We are ask uh, it is asking if we like to select all the uh, uh, all the partition and because it, fo it found 10 sequences we see yes and you see that's the list of all the partition he found and we say okay that select all you see that you can make just some selection you can select just some frames so you have a lot of possibility let's use it we have to say add partition and that's okay you see that it loaded the particles and you see the particles there we can align the PRT loader to the sphere and let's see there you see that inside the list it is using all the partition and let's say yes there we have 100% so you see now we can see all the particles and we have 2 million particles let's say 1% to be faster okay so let's go at this frame and we say render this one and you see that it is loading and we have the, 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 the particle system with a lot of particles made just with a partition so we don't need anymore to have complex particles there and you see that then it's really fast to play also with the scene and to render because we have no calculation made we have just to use the uh, the partitions and that's all we have to do nothing more so uh, we are free now to do what we like to do and you see we can play with all the aspects and the uh, parameters we like to use there let's say for example that I like to have something like that and we can render and everything is done in real time because we have to do nothing to play with it and obviously there we can play again with the density and rendering you see to have the right look you are completely uh, free to do what we like so uh, that's all and uh, I hope to see you back on Max Cookie to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com bye